All right, you ready, Charmaine? <laughs> Grab that glitter, your glue, and your paintbrushes. You know, whatever kind of art supplies you might need because March is National Craft Month. I'm not very crafty. Oh, though. I well, think you are. A little bit, maybe, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> National Craft <laughs> Month was created in 1994. All to help people discover their hidden talents, and they also introduced them to creative outlets they never tried before. See, yeah, there I, you go. Let's see what Hazel Marie has. <laughs> WFXR's Hayes Marie Anderson live at Crafteria Homemade Food and Goods Ooh. in Roanoke. Now the food part I might have. Yeah, this is one of my favorite places. This okay. is awesome. Let's check it out. What, what you got for <laughs> us this morning? I mean, there is so much to be had here at Crafteria. It's actually one of my favorite, too, Amanda. I'm actually going to roll up my sleeves. <laughs> I, they're kind of already rolled up. But I'm here with Hillary of Copper Moon. And Hillary, you are a local crafter. You do it all. I mean, for folks that have may have not walked in here and met you yet, what are the type of crafting that you do? So I've always loved to work in a lot of different mediums, from metal smithing to needle felting to painting. You name it, I'm probably <laughs> you tried it. With. <laughs> and I'm always loving learning new which techniques. Is, which is what's important when it comes to mm -hmm. crafting. It's about exploring. It's about mm -hmm. learning and even relaxing. I mean, what got you into Absolutely. crafting? Well, probably just growing up with an architect as a dad, an artist as a father. He really kind of got me in, into that and inspired me. Well, let's get started. Mm -hmm. What do you have for us today? So what can we do? I've been working on some needle felting. What's that? And <laughs> needle felting is really cool. It looks sort of like embroidery. Oh, that's cute. But it's different because it's actually no sewing involved. Oh. I'm even wearing a ring. Oh, that's uh, cute. So you work with wool. Okay. Like alpaca wool. And you like kind of, you can shape it. Yeah. And like, so I'm making this little flower here, and you can try it. Okay, too. so show me. So this so is all the needle. All you have to do is you take one of these barbed needles, okay. and you just kind of okay. punch let me, it. Let me try. Yeah. Oh, this is a stress reliever, really. I'm telling you. I mean, what? You know, <laughs> Mad at work. Stabbing something with a, with a needle. <laughs> so you, not only can, can folks come and purchase some of your local things, because that's mm -hmm. another big thing here at Craft Here. There's a hundred, you know, vendors, and whether it's food or just local artists, but Absolutely. you're also supporting local businesses like yourself, you know, and you give classes yes. as well. Yes, and... We even at Crafteria, we just got this new product in, which is really <laughs> cool. So now you can take home some needle felting to do at home. See, you know, and, and, well. and if you have any questions, kit. come come talk to you, and right? And come talk to me. I'll there you go. Classes. There you go. Absolutely. So before we wrap up, let's mm -hmm. talk about, you know, once again, the importance of folks trying something new. You know, I feel like during the pandemic, we kind of got used to, got used to certain things. Mm -hmm. I, I got in a rut. Like me, I'm trying to explore mm -hmm. what's something that we could all just try. Yeah. So that's the great thing about things like needle felting and the other things that I do my classes in, mm -hmm. where I kind of break it down step by step. And, and it's just therapeutic to, to create something. Absolutely. Well, you know what? This is therapeutic. Kara, do you check this out? It's a little flower. A little flower I'm going to make it for you. Kara? <laughs> Oh, and I will say, I love needle felting, too. It is, it's fun. It is therapeutic. You can just sit down in your chair and just keep on stabbing that wool until you make exactly what you want. So, so glad that this month is National Crafting Month.